Hello YouTube world, World of Sound, DX Land. Well, I already kind of know about my uh, trunken scanner, but uh, I had bought that Procom spider antenna and was having a hell of a time with it. Didn't want to work, wouldn't receive correctly, whole bunch of stuff. And granted, you know, the coax that they give you is... Uh, it's RG58, but you know it's small diameter and doesn't really carry a signal very well. So after fooling around for quite a while, um, one of my YouTube viewers, subscribers, and friend, they're out there in uh, uh, BC, um, British Columbia. He, he said, you know, take those uh, top elements out. And I got to thinking about it, you know, and I'm like, yeah, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that, because in a sense, it's just gonna turn it, it's just gonna turn it into a, a, a little five eighths wave ground plane is all that's gonna, that all that's gonna do, and it worked. I said, I'll be a son of a gun. So why they designed an antenna that way is beyond me. But anyway. I did the trick, so I just wanted to take a minute and thank him for the suggestion, you know, and and uh, the dude was right, you know. He's a pretty good dude. He, he's sure is knowledgeable. He's he's got uh, he's got pretty good knowledge about radios. You know, he he's right up there. You know, he's just as good as anybody else out there. So, I, you know, I just wanted to you do a shout out for him, man. It shit did work, man. We're pretty good. It's scanning right now. Um, that's out of Lansing right there. Again, Lansing. I think it's more on their end and, and um, probably the coax. Um, changing the coax might bring in those 400s better. Because uh, RG8 or RG58 at 100 feet of coax at 500 megahertz was ooh a lot dB gain or loss. I'm excuse me. So they recommend RG6 or uh, Belden 9913. Is which I got I got some Belden 213 and that'll work, but it's it's big stuff. I kind of wanted to get out of the big stuff for the scanner because you know the smaller coax is just much easier to work with. Um, so as you notice, here's the 800s. This is uh, our local uh, power company in the state here, uh, consumers. So it picks up their trunking pretty good. I'm getting full scales on all this, so, um, and it does pretty good on, with the weather too, is which is the one thing it wouldn't receive weather for nothing. But as you can see, you see how it fluctuates a little bit. I think some of that's in the coax, and then I'm gonna run uh, two grounds, one off of the antenna, and then I'm gonna run another one off of the coax because it only receives. It's not gonna transmit, so. If it gets popped by lightning, then hopefully it will shoot down the, the ground. So, but I mean, it's doing pretty good. You know, three weather channels, four. But see, I don't know why it fluctuates like that. It's probably the coax. Because, I mean, you know. But, yeah. It's working pretty good. I'm, uh. A lot happier now at the moment.
All right, well, that's a five-minute video. I'm getting on back, so we'll see y'all.